Hey, what's up Wix Nation? Welcome back to another video here on the Wix Training Academy channel. My name is Sarah Michaels and I am your hostess here for the WTF What the Funnel series where we are showing you how to create a pretty and profitable lead generation website using Wix. If you have not yet already, be sure to go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the bell so that you do not miss when a new video drops in this series. Today, we are going to be diving in and going over how to build and set up and structure your Wix contact form and how to automate it and really have all of the different features that you need so that you are able to turn those visitors and then convert them into customers because that's really what it's all about. Am I right? Because you're going to attract, connect, convert, and then automate. That is what makes up a lead generation website that is acting as your best salesperson and converting sales while you sleep, which might seem like a dream, but we're going to help you turn that into a reality. So, okay. And by the way, I know um, some of you are using third party. Uh, you might have other like email opt-in and lead capture software. Maybe you know you're using a convert kit. We will show you not only how to um, how to connect a Wix opt-in form to your current email thing so that it can port over. That'll be in an upcoming tutorial. Um, but we'll also show you in another video, alternatively, if you just want to use a lead capture with your own email provider, we'll show you that in, a, in one of the upcoming videos as well. But for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to show you how to use the Wix forms and automations because it's actually really incredible what Wix has done and you're really able to capitalize on all of the features and kind of really have a grasp and an appreciation for all of the different things that Wix offers that set it apart from all of the other design platforms that some of them are truly just a website design platform. When you start getting in here and using some of these different features and automations, you're really going to have an appreciation for everything, the full capability that your Wix website is able to do, and it's pretty cool. So, okay, so, here we have the Wix form and I'm just I'm just using a, a sample site here. So let's pretend that maybe you are a service provider, a graphic designer, something like that. Whatever it is that you're doing, you are capturing that person's information when they land on your site. This is for any service, any industry. Um, so don't think that, oh, this, this only applies to designers or no, that's not the case. Um, however you are capturing their information, that's what we're gonna be using that Wix landing um, lead capture page for that form. So the first thing that you're gonna do is go ahead and add that. So underneath of the Wix form section, you can pick whichever one works best for you. If you are doing a very simple delivery, so for example, if you are a service provider and someone requests like some more information or something like that, you can, you know, decide to send that directly to them and you don't need a bunch of information, maybe just their name and their email. So in that case, I would go to contact forms and then the subscribe button. Um, maybe you are giving away a free download or whatever it is that you're doing, select the form that works best for you. Now keep in mind, when you are adding a form to your Wix website, you will want to make sure that you are customizing it to fit your brand and your guide. So the colors, the font, all of these can be customized and changed. And I do encourage you to do that because when you add a form to your site and it's not incongruent um, or it's not congruent with your current branding, that's going to throw off the first key thing of having a lead generation website, which is to attract people. And what attracts people to your brand is it's all congruent, it's consistent. Otherwise, if you kind of just, I'm sure you've been to some of those websites where you just drag one of these elements on and you slap it on there. If you've ever seen one of those vehicles driving down the road and it's got like, you know, parts and like a different color, we just saw when we were at the, or went to the organic market for lunch and it was like this van and it had all these different parts and colors and it was just like hobbled together and 
it runs, but dang, it was not pretty, right? So that's the digital equivalent of that is when you are just throwing different elements on your site and being like, oh, it's going to capture leads, right? No. So you want to make sure that you customize it first. The second thing is we're going to go in here and we're going to go into the form settings. So I'm going to show you a couple of different important things here that are going to hopefully help you so that later on it's, it's, going to go well for you. So first things first is we're going to go underneath of the settings tab and you want to label this specific form. Okay. So label this form. So for example, I'll title this one lead magnet service guide home. Now that's telling me that they have downloaded the lead magnet. It's the service guide lead magnet and the location is the home page. This will help you later on. The second thing you can do is you can choose to set up your notifications. So underneath of the notifications tab, you will make sure that you put your business email. And if you have a team or an assistant or someone else, you can also choose to put them in there as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, the submissions table is really nice once you have people coming in there. You can download that. You can. Um, so that's what the submissions table is for. Now we're gonna get into the submit message. This is where you are choosing what happens when somebody submits the form. So do you want to show a success message? That is the easiest, most basic thing that you can possibly do. <laughs> so for example, if someone is downloading a price and service guide, you can just simply say like, congratulations, your download's on its way, please check your email. Now. If you need to deliver a video or you're going to have multiple downloads or it's a free training or a mini course, that's where you're probably going to want to link to that next page, that delivery page, right? So usually there's an opt-in, that's the lead magnet, and then the delivery page, which is the second page. If you already created one of those, you can definitely select that you're, that's where you want to send them to. Um, but for the purpose of this, I'm just gonna show you, we're gonna do a success message. Okay, now the next thing that you wanna do is go down to the automations tab, and this is where we're going to start working with the automations. So what you can do is you can see here that it says, when somebody submits this, what do you want to do? Well, you want to send them an email and you want to structure and schedule this in advance so that when somebody is submitting your form, you don't have to be in there physically communicating that and like sending every single person the same thing, right? So this is where scalability, duplication, and saving you time and money really comes into play. So we're gonna go ahead and click on send a thank you email. So that's what you wanna click on. Now, keep in mind, you can also access this tab when you are in your back office as well. So that is underneath of the automations tab. Things are gonna be probably getting changed and moved around, it happens. So if you ever cannot find something that you're looking for, my little tip for you would be to just type it up here in the search bar. Super, super easy. So you can say automations. It also says triggered emails. So for this purpose, you would just be looking for the automations tab, okay? All right, so now what you wanna do is you want to title this automation. Now, from personal experience, I can tell you, you want to be very specific about how you label this automation because in the future, let's say that right now you're just using Wix as your follow-up and email, which is fine. But maybe down the road, you want to start getting more fancy with your follow-ups and your pipelines and your broadcasts and tags and all these different kinds of things. So when you're doing this, um, you want to set this up because in the future, we'll show you, you can actually use a service called Zapier that allows you to connect a Wix automation and a Wix form into, so that way, when somebody fills out my Wix forms, yes, the easiest thing that I do is I capture their information right here in the Wix form, and then I use a Zap, which then transfers that contact automatically without me being involved, 
Like I don't have to do anything. It transfers them automatically then into my third party email service provider because I like to do a little bit more than what Wix allows me to do. So Wix is great for beginners. It has a lot of different functions. It's a great place to start, but we also want to help you think long term. And I remembered there's one more thing that you want to do. Sorry about that. Underneath of the contacts, the contact tab, um, go in here under the contact label and make sure that you click on lead magnet service guide or whatever the name of this form is. Make sure that that label is selected by them um, and you can change your labels around as well. You can create different ones, but this is going to be able to help you identify those contacts so that when you're looking to contact them in the future, you can easily segment those different lists in the back office of Wix, which is a really handy feature. Okay, so here we are. We're going to title this automation. So I'm gonna title this as, what is it doing? So it's gonna say email. We'll say email one. And th this is just how I prefer to title them. So I'm saying what this is. So the first email or the follow up email, email one, um, or we'll say follow up email. And now I'm going to say what it's for. And this is for the opt in service guide. Okay. So that's what the name of this is, and it's very important to be as specific as possible because you're going to see a lot of automations if you ever start using different services. Now, the trigger, the trigger is, well, what's tripping this to happen? What's setting this off? Well, somebody submits a form, okay? And now I'm gonna go down here, and it's not just any form. I want them to, I want it to be a specific form. So, and then it's gonna say, well, what's the form name? That's why it's helpful that you named the form. And so we'll say the lead magnet service guide. We'll go ahead and click on apply. So the second thing that you're gonna to wanna to do then is you're going to schedule out the email to them. So when you get to this section, you can say send email to contact. Now then what it's gonna do is it's going to ask you to customize that email. So that's where you're gonna simply go in there and type in whatever it is that that email is gonna say. So whether you're saying, hey, thank you so much, or whether it's an email with a link to something else, or it's an email with a link to a download, or an email with a link to your calendar. Um, whatever your delivery is, or whatever lead magnet that is, that's what you're going to put in that email. Then you can choose when do you want this trigger to happen. Now you can select immediately, okay? And that's what I always set the first one as, is immediately. And now the really cool part is you can go in and, and add a follow-up action. Now you do have to upgrade Ascend in order to do this. I do recommend it, by the way. Um, I know that the Ascend basic plan comes with a, a set number of automations. I don't know exactly how many. It's Maybe it's like three or something like that. Um, you're going to use a lot more automations than you realize. So when you're looking at the Ascend plan, and by the way, if you're like, oh, I just, you know, I got this, do I need Ascend? You 100% do, unless you want to start pulling in all of this other software. Like I worked with clients on like WordPress and all these other sites and apps and memberships. It was so expensive. When you look at Wix and being able to do this all in one place, it might seem like more, but when you actually understand the time and the money that this is going to save, it is not a lot at all. So I 100% recommend upgrading to Ascend. We absolutely love it, and I know that once you start getting into the automations, you will love it too, because it can do so much for you. So for example, you could choose another follow-up action to be, okay, I'm gonna send another email to this contact two days after the previous item. So let's say that they opt into your form and then you want to schedule an email two days after. Or maybe you're going to create a series and you want to send out a series of emails, like you know five different ones or 
you know, you're going to do like, I'm going to send you an email a day for five days and it's going to be this like campaign or something. You can then choose another follow-up action and you can kind of keep doing this. So that's a really cool part of the automations when you're talking about your lead pages and your landing pages and things like that. Now, if you want to get really fancy and you want to connect your Wix form to your third-party email, that's something that we'll have to show you how to do in an upcoming video because that is going to be utilizing Zapier in order to do that, or Zapier. I don't know how to say that. I should probably look that up. <laughs> if I'm saying it wrong, feel free to let me know down below. So that is what you will be doing with the Wix contact form on your website to make sure that it is optimized to generate leads and sales. Thank you so much for watching this video here today. If it was helpful, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. This, this experience is really meant to be interactive. And so we will be checking the comment section and following up with you. If you have not yet already, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell so that you don't miss the next video in the series where we're going to dive more into some of the advanced strategies of automations, connecting your funnel with outside sources, and really just getting into how you can grow and scale your business with Wix. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.